Hey guys, my name is Amanda Williams. I am also known as Amanda the Traveling Realtor and today I'm going to teach you how to do a Zoom call. So just go to Zoom. Uh, Zoom.com is really Zoom.us, doesn't really matter. So uh, make sure to create your account here and then after you've created your account, go ahead and log in and I'm going to show you how to do two different types of Zoom calls. So the first one I'm going to teach you how to do is just a normal meeting. So let's just say you have a client on the phone right now and you're like, gosh, I really want to see your house right now. Um, can we jump on a Zoom? So what you'll do is you'll come into your Zoom account and you will click on host a meeting. And then what this is going to do is it's going to ask you video on or off. And you're going to say you want your video on because you want to be able to uh, see the other person and the other person to see you. And I'm not going to do it right now because it's not going to allow me to open two Zooms at the same time. But all you're going to do is you're going to open zoom.us right here. And then at the very bottom of your screen, it's going to say invite. And you're going to click on invite and you're going to put in the person's email address. And then they're going to get an email with an invitation to, to join you on your Zoom call and you'll be able to see them. So that's the first thing I wanted to show you. The second thing is after you're in, in order to schedule a meeting, which I always do, click on my account and it's going to show you all of your information, of course. And then when you click on meetings, this is going to show you everything that you have um, scheduled as far as meetings goes. So I'm going to go ahead and schedule a new meeting here. And I'm going to say my meeting one, two, three, and let's schedule this for uh, tomorrow at, uh, yeah. That's fine, four o'clock. I think I have another test at three. Um, so there we go. Duration, pick that. Here, don't worry about what this says, okay? Um, just worry about what this says. So for me, this is gonna be Eastern time. So you can do the drop down menu right here. It's gonna show you all of the different um, time zones. And then if this is a meeting that you wanna do every week or every day, like if you're doing a special meeting for your team or something like that, then you can click record meeting and then it's going to be every single um, day at 4 p.m. Okay. Um, here, I always do required registration just because I open my meetings up to all real estate professionals and I want to know which real estate brokers are hanging on their license with. I want to know what state they're in. And so I do a registration requirement on mine. You don't have to do that. Um, it's just something that I like to do. So Meeting password, I always take that off because I just feel like that's an extra step that they really don't have to go to. And then as far as video, leave that on for both the host and the participant. Audio, leave that as both because you want people to be able to call in from their cell phones and come in through their computer audio. Now down here under meeting options, I always do mute uh, participants upon entry. And I also say record the meeting automatically because I am the worst at forgetting to record. So I'd like that to just automatically record for me. And it can either record on your local computer or in the cloud. Now what that means is that Zoom will give you a certain amount of space to keep your videos on. Um, but then after that space runs out, then there's no more recording or you have to delete some stuff. So um, you can do either one. Just know that you're going to run out of space if you do the, the cloud. So go ahead and just save that. And then we're going to be able to go back in here and we're going to edit. So at the very bottom, um, under the registration op options, you're going to click on edit and leave all of this. Um, if you go over to questions, this is the questions that you want them to fill out when they uh, fill out the registration page. So I always want the phone number, I want the name, and I also want the state that they're in. And custom questions here, you can say, you know, whatever you want as far, you know, uh, which real estate firm do you hang your license with or whatever your question is, right? Are you interested in buying or selling now? Um, and then just create that question. And so that'll be your questions there. And then you also have your email settings that you can play with um, if you want to send an email out to the, regist the registrants beforehand, you can do that there. If you want to upload a banner or your logo, then you can do that here. And then once you go live in this and you start this meeting, you can actually live stream 
to your Facebook, to your workplace or YouTube, but you can't do that until you're actually in the meeting, okay? So going back up here, a couple of things. Um, how do you get people to come to your meeting? So the registration link is here. You can copy the invitation and then therefore you can post that to social media. You can send that in messages. You can send an email out, whatever you wanna do. Another way that I really like to go about this is I just click on add to Google Calendar and then this is going to add this meeting with the link to my personal Google Calendar. And so I'm going to change this just so I'll know to delete this later. And what this is giving me is it's giving me all of the information right here. So it's going to be automatically put onto my, my cell phone, onto my Google Calendar. And then it doesn't matter where I'm at, all I have to do is literally open my Google Calendar, click on whatever day I'm going for. Like here, I have a test already made, and I don't hope you can see that. All of my links and everything's right there. So literally, all I'd have to do is just click on the link, and then it's going to take me directly in to uh, to Zoom. It's not going to allow me to get in because I'm already on Zoom in my account. Um, but that's how you do that. All right. Now. In order to get this out to other people and not just yourself personally, then you can add people here. So I'm gonna add myself. Uh, so we'll just do this. And then I can save this and it's gonna ask me what I like to send an invitation email to my Google Calendar guest. And I'm gonna say yes, all right? I'm gonna say no right now because I really don't need it. But um, in normal cir circumstances, you would say yes, please send that. And then what's gonna happen is they're gonna get that invitation in an email format and they're gonna be able to open it and say, yes, I will attend the meeting and that will automatically go onto their Google Calendar. So super easy, uh, it's just in a click of a button, then you're completely there. So um, just wanted to show you guys that, unfortunately I can't like video myself starting a meeting, I don't think. Um, I'll give it a shot here, but normally that doesn't work very well. Uh, let's see, open, um, join video call. You're already in another meeting. Do you want to leave this one and join? No, I don't want to leave because that means I would cut you guys off. So that's what I wanted to show you today. Um, if you guys have any questions, then you can feel free to reach out to me. My name is Amanda Williams. You'll see all my contact information here, but hopefully that will help our uh, fellow real estate community because like overnight we had to go online, didn't we? And we had to go all virtual because of this coronavirus. So hopefully this helps you. And again, if you have any questions or if you're looking um, to get some more training on other things like mindset, uh, real estate classes you can do now, um, things you can do now to keep your, your database and keep your clients happy and really just to help your community at this point, just reach out to us. All right, have a great day, bye.